So I'm pretty sure that everybody knows about how Ali Coco was trying to sue this YouTuber because she made this video about it. But in this particular segment of the video, she had used this video from another YouTuber that claimed that Ali Coco was a nigga. A few days ago, the small YouTuber Dr. Sonic V2 released a video exposing Ali through his second channel where he published a video talking explicitly about his sexual experience with a sex worker in Thailand who could have possibly been underage. Am I really going to go back home? without experiencing a happy ending massage. I don't want to go to the touristy areas where, you know, all the tourists are getting their happy ending massages. Like, you know, the girl's hands might be infected. Neighborhood called Sukhumvit 23. <laughs> Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. If you're new, if you're not new to the channel of my channel, you know, <laughs> you probably heard of the name Sonic V2 from my video right here. If y'all know who Sonic V2 is, he made a video with another dude claiming that Corey was a, a cupcake man 3000. And during that video, they kept pulling up proof, quote unquote proof, of Corey saying stuff like this. All I need is a key to the office. <laughs> Now this is where, you know, if we had a little crush on Lily, I could be like, I got the key, but I need you to twerk your booty one time. Basically, that's all they kept pulling up about how he's a, a cupcake monster, basically. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because any person named from Sonic V2, they're probably not telling the truth. Basically, what you've seen, the proof that they pulled on Ali Coca, um, they're not even telling the truth, bro. These niggas are literally weird. But later in the video, she had actually gave criticism to Ali Coca, and she gave criticism to Sonic V2. The entire thing is creepy and unsettling and it's so strange she would release this of course i'm not going to put pedo on my thumbnail because that would be jumping to a very serious allegation that there's no proof for honestly don't think this youtuber should have done that just because you can't really take a statistic of how many girls are underage and prove ali a that they knew they were underage and b that they even were underage but i ain't gonna lie to you she shouldn't even really added something like this anyway because how can i say this Niggas got short attention span. And the reason why I had said this is because they didn't even watch the full video. They just went right in her comments and they was kept calling Ali Coca a cupcake man, a cupcake. Yo, this man is a, I didn't know he was going to be a cupcake man, 3000 monster with no lube. <laughs> but after this, it looked like it had got attention to Ali Coca because he had actually made a video addressing this allegation. Recently, some disgusting allegations about me were brought to my attention, and they are 1,000% false. Nothing but complete and utter lies. I had made a video on my second channel where I talked about how I got a happy ending massage in Thailand from an adult female. And some dumbass idiot completely made up a false narrative that she was a minor. She was not. She was a full-grown an adult who was 31 years old. I know that because I asked her. People are taking these lies about me as facts when the guy who made them literally pulled it out of his ass. His goal is to gain clout for himself by using my name in a negative context. I swear on my life and on everything good and holy that I've never had any kind of inappropriate relations with a minor and never will. A false accusation of this magnitude is the biggest cunt move you can ever make. Whoever started this lie, fuck you. Trying to tarnish my good name in the worst way imaginable all for clout and you can clearly see in the video buddy was mad as hell I ain't gonna lie. and rightfully so because imagine somebody just talking about how uh you said that lebron james is better than jordan i ain't never said nothing like that cause... okay <laughs> but after he made this video this is where it actually gets really serious so he posted a comment on the video saying that basically what he said in the video that the allegations and everything in the video was false but later on in the post he had actually said that he is considering on suing coco crazy and sonic v2 for making up these lies or something like what he said. and after this this would lead to a second video from coco crazy called the youtube degenerate ellie coco is threatening me. but in the video she basically is just responded to ellie coca and stuff like that so this is what she has said. this video is going to be addressing a very serious situation i'm in i'm currently being harassed and threatened by the youtuber ali coca he has threatened me in my own comment section as well as threatened to sue me over a video i made on him in that video i did three things firstly i said he's rude to his audience second I disagreed with a video calling about saying that statement was false and should not be used. And third, I said he's very disrespectful towards women. Again, like she was like making sounds and noises to act like, to like, to like pretend like she was into it, right? Like she was like cradling the balls, rubbing the shaft. So yeah. 
Because I told him he's rude to his audience and women, which is my opinion, he has recently commented under a video he wants to sue specifically me because I exaggerated the title. And after she had made that video, Ali Coca had actually responded saying you could have apologized for spreading such false and disgusting allegations. You instead cry victim and still trying to further gain clout and keep the drama going longer. You are still completely making things up. Even in this video and the thumbnail are full of misinformation. I never threaten you or harass you. That's another lie you making up. You digging yourself a deeper hole. You know that, right? Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to tell y'all. He has a huge ego problem. Like, bro, I don't know what you even want her to do. She literally said that the allegations against you was literally proven false. So I don't even know what you even want. And another thing about him keeps saying that she keeps doing this for clout and doing this. Like, nigga, what clout do you got? Like, bro, if you look at all of her videos, she didn't even really even have to use you for clout. She was getting a bunch of views either way, bro. Like, bro, I ain't saying I'm the one with the motion and the plan, but like, god damn, you over here thinking you missed the beast or something. And after this, he had made another post about him saying that he's not gonna sue Ali Coca and that uh she's doing it for clout, and he keeps saying that I'm not a bad guy, I'm not a bad guy, and that's all he keeps saying because I am not gonna read all of this goddamn. But it looked like after this situation, this did aversible damage on Ali Coca's career, like literally. The reason why I say that is one, he haven't been getting the same amount of views before all of this stuff even happened. And second, every community post he makes, he always get comment to like ratio like crazy. So I guess it does look like this is how Ali Coca lost 98% of his followers. But anyway, if you made it this long into the video, just comment um my 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 name. Uh, I guess uh Mr. Jody Jr. I guess. But anyway, this end of the video, subscribe to the channel so we can hit a thousand subs before the end of the year. And yeah, uh hey.